My name is Derek Spiva. I'm a composer and a performer and a teacher. And I love all three. Well, originally I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> I, uh, uh, but then I thought about, well, why did I want to be an astronaut? And I, I wanted to be an astronaut because <clears throat> I had seen this movie, Apollo 13, and I just thought it was so awesome. I just thought, well, why did I think it was so awesome? And I thought it was so awesome because I really enjoyed the music. I was searching for a specific style of music and I was just buying hordes of CDs and going to like Tower Records, which used to be open back then. And I was like listening to all of these tracks because there were these slices of all of these different soundtracks and these different albums from different composers. There were, there were these moments where I was just like, oh, I really like that moment. I want, I want to find more of that. So I just kept searching, kept searching. I couldn't find like all of those moments by one artist. Let me just try and write some of it. That way I can at least hear what I'm trying to put together. And so then I started writing. For the longest time, I was working for Lego as an usher at Royce Hall. It was hard for me to see myself being someone who the, the, who the orchestra would come to to play music, to play my music. Um, I, uh, <laughs> the orchestra just seemed so out of reach for me. And I submitted a work to Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra, but at first they didn't accept it. And I, it was probably because it wasn't completely ready yet. So I submitted my work to New Music USA, and then you know, three months later I get an email that says, Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra uh, has been interested in playing your work, and you have been paired up with Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra. And I thought to myself, now how in the world, what are the odds of that? Like, that's crazy. I was very excited, um, thrilled uh, that uh, that this was a possibility. I know that the members of Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra are some of the hardest working musicians in the world. And I also know that they're some of the most talented musicians in the world. So um, the final iteration of the piece is something that I know, that I hope, they would enjoy playing, get a challenge out of playing, and totally feel like they are the absolute best when they finish playing that piece. Because the piece has a lot of um, polyrhythms in there. There's a lot of uh, rhythms that are being incorporated um, into Western classical music that are from North Indian music, West African music, and a lot of that music is rote learning um, and, and just straight up uh, uh, verbal communication of how to play things. To put that stuff on, up on the page, it was quite a task. And all of these rhythms we've all played before, like everybody's played all these rhythms. This, there's nothing new here. What's new here uh, is is the sequence in which these rhythms are put on the page. There are a lot of rhythms in this piece that are repeated in a way um, that are kind of uncomfortable at first until you kind of get into the groove of things. Yeah. 